Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Positioning Lesson 7 and today I want to show you how to create text columns without using floats. Alright then guys, so I'm exactly where I left off in the last tutorial and in this video I want to show you how we can create text columns without using floats and it's a really neat little technique that we can use and it's really simple to pull off. So, what I'm going to do is focus on this content right here, okay? And we know that that content is within the content div there and it's the p tag that I want to split into columns. So what I'm going to do is come under the content rule right there and say content p. And then we need to specify the column properties. Now there's a few different column properties and they're still not fully supported in all browsers so we may have to use vendor prefixes in some cases. This is Google Chrome, so I'm going to use the WebKit vendor prefix. Now, if you don't know what they are, feel free to check out the video in my CSS for Beginners course. I'll leave a link to that down below. So, I'm going to say dash WebKit dash, and then the first property I want to show you is the column hyphen count property. And this is saying how many columns we want to split this content up to. Now, if we want, we can have two. If we want, we can have 20, but it gets a little bit unreadable when we have 20. So I'm just going to stick with three for this example. So now we've got three columns right here. What I am going to do is just get this and copy it and paste it underneath so that for browsers that do support the property, we've got it there as well. All right then, so the next thing I want to do is specify the gap in between the columns, all right? And we can do that again using the WebKit prefix and then the column Oops, I've spelled that wrong. Yeah, column hyphen gap property. And I'm going to set this equal to 50 pixels. So now you can see it's just widened that gap a little bit. Awesome. Same again, I'm just going to copy this for consistency and paste it underneath. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the column rule property. So again, WebKit hyphen column hyphen rule. And the rule is basically going to put a line in between each column like that. It kind of splits it up a little bit. I quite like it. So with this property, we need to specify three values. First of all, the rule width. And I'm just going to set that to one pixel. Then the type of rule, so dotted or dashed. I'm going to say uh, solid. And then finally, we need to give it a color. And I'm going to say CCC, which is like a medium gray. All right, so now you can see that rule in between those elements right there, or in between those columns, rather. Cool. Now, I'll do the same there. Just copy and paste that underneath. And then finally, I'm just going to justify that text. So I'm going to say text align, justify, and it just makes it look a little neater. Awesome. So there we go, guys. They are our three columns, and we've done that with one rule right here with a few different properties, dead simple, no floats whatsoever that we need to worry about, and uh, dead quick. So yeah, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next video.